Mathematica is, is a kind of environment to almost live in. If you, you can do pretty much anything that I need to do on a computer, I, I generally turn to Mathematica to do it. I started working with Mathematica about 1990 or 91. I was doing my graduate work at the time and I needed to buy some expensive optics, some prisms and things. And these had to be custom made and they would take weeks to build. So I needed to be sure that what I was having man made was actually going to function and work for me when, at the end of the day. So I needed to simulate their behavior so that I could be sure of that. Uh, ultimately that ended up into a package for Mathematica called Optica. My software is for designing lasers and optics and it's to help people who want to build things. Help people to simulate how things are going to work before they build them. That is what it, my, pro my program does. It also helps you optimize your design so you can not only build something but then you can find an optimal way, way to build it. And all that is of course be made possible because of its working with Mathematica. In this case we have six different kinds of lenses that I can pull down and to show how they compare with each other. It's quite difficult to measure the performance of a lens in the laboratory. It's much easier to model it in Mathematica and see that performance on the computer screen. Then when you get your lens you have a confidence that the lens you're selecting is the right lens for your problem. This is a mirror that I modeled using Optica before we had it built. And in this mirror, this is an elliptical shape. It's a perfectly mathematically perfect ellipse. And we originally modeled it on the screen. You can see its model and the ray trace of the model in, in Optica, where the mirror is right here. So you can see exactly how the mirror, the profile of the mirror corresponds to the model. This is the fundamental piece that goes into all of our machines here that EyeSight produces. This is the system that has the mirror installed in it that's been designed with Mathematica. The mirror is actually buried deep inside here and it's facing out and it's looking at biological cells that, that are passed by in front of the mirror. And these cells are then analyzed by all these optics and high-speed computer systems to determine whether they're the kind to be sorted, to be sorted into different test tubes. And depending on what the researchers doing, they could be working with cancer studies or stem cell research. There's a whole variety of kinds of research that these machines are used in. And it's just a great example of something Mathematica contri has contributed toward producing. It's really useful when you're trying to do cutting edge stuff and you don't know how things are going to turn out in advance and you need to find out as much as you can before you start investing lots of money and time and effort into the actual building of it.